Hi everyone, welcome to this week's turnaround tip where I want to talk about uh, the, the, uh, the role of a chief restructuring officer uh, both as, a, as an advisor or as an interim executive in the business but also um, they can play a role as an, as an advisor uh, or an NED in your business. Now next year uh, the, the business climate is going to be very challenging um, for, for most industries. You know, we've got a lot of mechanisms finishing in very, very, very quick succession and the industry and, and the economy is going to be very tested. So uh, what you want to ensure obviously is, is, is a, a landscape where you can keep all of your key, all your key stakeholders very comfortable and supportive. Now, you know, you're going to be going through a lot of, lot of transition next year. You might be in an industry that's growing quickly uh, and you're one of the fortunate ones, but most industries are going to be hit quite severely. And so your ability to, to you know, secure better support from your, your financiers, obtain fresh working capital, um, whether you're in a downturn or in, in a high growth mode um, is going to be critical and a chief restructuring officer is, is, is the term in the industry that they're highly experienced turnaround and restructuring practitioners and the added advantage of either having one of those uh, professionals in your team working alongside your CFO, the CEO to, to take care of a lot of that restructuring activity or, or sitting on the board is going to give uh, the, your organisation a huge boost of confidence in the eyes of, of key stakeholders, particularly your financiers or incumbent, incumbent uh, or incoming financiers. Because what they will do, they, they will not only ensure that you know, you're sweating your working capital, you're looking at all of the, 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 the avenues to improve working capital and, and selling non-core assets and, and, and making sure the business is as robust as possible, but they reduce the perceived risk that, um, that, that your business has when you're looking through the eyes of your incumbent financiers, shareholders, or, or incoming financiers or equity. So, and that's, that's what it's all about. Can you reduce the perceived risk um, uh, so that you can get the capital that your business needs and stand out from the other 10 or 15 uh, competitors in your industry that are also, you know, they've also got their hand out for, for capital. And that's gonna be critical to either secure working capital to fund growth so you can take advantage of others in your, in, in your industry that aren't, aren't in that situation or whether you need to bolster your balance sheet to help you ride out what's going to be a very tough period. So think very, very carefully about um, your, your, your formal board, if you've got one, um, or an advisory board implementing one, or at least just having a, a chief restructuring officer on standby to act as a sounding board who can act as that um, um, sort of go-between and, and help you negotiate um, those key, key milestones with your, with your stakeholders.